wanted to do a trailer walkthrough and uh, explain to you what I got going on with my home repairing or rehabbing. So this is the trailer that we tow behind the excursion. It's a seven by 14 Bendran Titan uh, enclosed trailer, six foot high, which makes it great for not having to duck down once you get in. Uh, usually we have a trash can right here. Uh, got the grab and go bucket of a lot of our plumbing supplies. Uh, screwdrivers, assorted bits, pliers, a lot of our PEX tools in there. And most importantly, the old trusty uh, knee pad. Then uh, we have our 12 foot extension ladder down there with some uh, pipe, CPVC, PVC. Uh, we got our big DeWalt storage box. A lot of our chains and ropes and miscellaneous go in there. Uh, a couple of saw blades here, one for cutting concrete. Uh, focus on the sign, pretty good sign we had at a flip house. Some protective gear, uh, earphones, trash bags, got some masks, a couple pair of gloves, some uh, rags, emergency water, several rolls of tape back there. Uh, you name it, we got it in the tape department. Got a meter, got some zip ties. Uh, moving down, we have several hammers and a couple of pry bars. We have several of our drywall tools. Uh, a lot of our hammers are inside this particular project we're working on. So i uh, got some extra spare nails for the nail guns and then a box of screws and sort of nails. Tape measures, pliers, pliers. Utility knives, a couple of uh, levels, small levels, small hand tools. Got a little uh, place for pencils and then some glue and some oil there. Uh, speed Square 300 foot tape. Got the old uh, compound miter box. This is pretty handy, especially when it's raining. You know, I've got a, the benches set up to cut, trim, works out pretty well. Uh, we got some drywall tools up above. Got the sander with the extended handle. Two of uh, DeWalt's battery powered nail guns. We got the pin nailer back there. It's a great piece of equipment. Got a uh, impact gun back there. So basically anything I use, I put down here so I can get to it readily available. We've got two of our impact drivers inside right now. Uh, Sawzall. Oscillating tool usually goes right here. Got the old uh, circular saw. This is our bank of batteries here. Uh, we also have a battery charger. Everything we have is pretty much 20 volt max DeWalt. Got a few 60 volts. Uh, palm sander grinder. Right hand drill. Uh, cut off wheel. Jigsaw. Here's where we have a couple of clamps. Uh, Got the old battery charger, which goes to the 12 volt to keep the lights on. The lights I got off of Amazon, they're LEDs. Uh, they really do the trick, especially when we're in a, in a place where we don't have power. Uh, got a couple sawhorses hanging on the wall. T-squares, a couple levels. Or we got one or two levels missing. Got some three-quarter PEX pipe. Uh, got our wall of ladders. Five footer, four footer, and then there's a two footer behind it. A little steel sprayer, uh, Graco gun that works off the uh, batteries as well. Uh, then we got some miscellaneous storage here drill bits, electrical wire, uh, standard tools. Come over to our hardware drawers. Got it tucked under the counter there. I'm going to spin around here and Steel blower, probably the most important piece of equipment we have for uh, cleanup and anything we need to do as far as cleaning up a house or inside the trailer. Uh, got a couple roller carts here. Bottle jack, uh, compressor, which we very rarely use now because we've gone to all battery powered stuff. Got the DeWalt battery powered table saw, which I have never used yet, but I plan on using. Uh, this is a DeWalt grease gun. 
and then this is the big tool set hand tool set but i think that just about wraps it up uh let me know what you think again the headroom in here is amazing i don't have to duck i can walk around and do things we mainly rehab houses uh I'm shooting this video it's my first video i just got a chance to clean it up and organize it while we're on this project so uh let me know what you think and uh we'll see you on the next one